How do I want to do this one? Because we're going to need... We need water. And ideally, what I'd like to do is... Probably get some rotary pumps up in here. Question is, where do I do this? I mean, probably right here. Okay, let's go back in here, just get one mechanical pump. Ain't much. I guess it doesn't have to be. Let's pump this into spore presses. Cancel that for a second. I'm going to put a liquid router on that just to cap it off. I think we're doing okay. This is barely anything. Uh, let's see. Liquid tank. Because realistically, what I'm going to want is just like a goofy amount of liquid tanks. Just to store as much as I can. Because we barely have any water. Uh, let's see. We will continue to barely have any. Well, okay. No. I'll take... I take that back. We actually have a lot of water. Do these require? Copper and metaglass. Oh. That's a problem. I'm actually almost out of copper. See, I don't I don't actually bother mining copper anymore cuz 90% of the time what I start with is actually enough. Okay. Next big issue, still no power. There we go. Okay. So what is the issue here? Because the spore press is not getting liquid or power. And I... Oh, because it's a spore press. We're looking for cultivators. There we go. Wrong one. Okay. Question. Spore press creates oil. One spore pod to oil. What's better? Okay. I gotta pause for a second. So... Spore press makes one spore pod into 18 oil. So if I look at the steam generator, one spore pod makes vaguely 330 units of power normally. 
What about if I put it into a combustion generator with oil? Oh. Is it a thermal generator? No. Can I not turn oil into power yet? It doesn't look like I have the capacity to do so. And if I do, then I'm clearly misunderstanding something. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to operate under the assumption my best power setup would be steam generators. Question is, where do I put the steam generators? Combustion generator accepts spore pods. No? It does. But I'm not looking for... Uh... So, I'm not looking for... Spore pods into the combustion generator. I'm looking for oil into the combustion generator. I was really hoping I could, uh... A what? We need for this. Lead, probably. What's wrong with my cultivators? didn't need power. No, it definitely needs power. Are we just out of juice? We're just totally out of juice. Oh. Pfft. Well, that... There, there we go. I just never connected it. There we go. Also, thank you, Funny Man, thirty-five ninety-five, for the thirty-five month resub. Thank you. All right, there we go. Now we got it. Matters for days. Oops. There we go. So now we've got crazy power. Which I guess is exactly what I needed. Or at least, we had crazy power for a moment. I'm pretty sure it just capped out. Okay, so I can get four of these down. Let's just get a couple of batteries to hold on to. Okay, there we go. So let's take a look at these thermals. So the biggest li limitation here seems to be water supply. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Now we should have silly water production. Pressing the wrong buttons here. There we go. Okay. So our, our power situation is now looking uh, pretty close to exactly what we need. These are all set up. So I guess next order of business is copper. Hey. If I'm... Uh, gosh. I was gonna say, it's like, if I'm loaded on power, maybe I can just be ridiculous here. There we go. 
I could just be ridiculous here if I wanted to and just say like, well, let's just use ultra drills on even copper. But there's so much copper, why the heck would I do that? All right, there we go. Now, now we've got copper production going. I don't think I need more than this. Okay, I'm going to try something. Unless I'm mistaken, the air factories. I believe the air factories... need both of these. I guess I shouldn't do that. There we go. So if I want to make monos, yes. Okay. And duos. Now the one thing is, we do have the... I thought we had the thing that com combines or upgrades them. Additive Reconstructor. Let's take a look at this. So it turns monos into polys. But it needs silicon and graphite. Well, you know what? Let's do it. I've, I've never done the Additive Reconstructor before. So I still got to get this graphite. But at least we've got silicon rolling. What is the limitation here? It actually seems to be coal. Well. In that case. Get it, let's get a bit silly here. Slow this down. Okay. So we're going to want to get water up in this. Okay. Let's just do something like that. Liquid router, liquid router. Router's there. We don't have much, but I, I should have enough power for all of this and then some. Okay. Let's keep these over here. Do I have enough for this? I should. There we go. I don't think I'm going to need much water to pull this off. In retrospect, I don't actually need power out here. There we go. Looks like we're still comfortable on Metaglass. So next up, I gotta get everything out of here. Uh, let's see. I guess that was a little silly of me. But you know what? Since when do I make everything right? There we go. So these have water. That should be outputting tons of coal now. Good. Now I gotta figure out graphite. Well, 
we've already got a water line. It's a little... It's a little trapped in here, but I don't think that's an issue. Okay, switch to that one, please. Yes. Okay, that's got some water. Perfect. Okay, too much. So we want to do the multi-press. Let's just do three. Holy shit, these things are chonky. Okay, let's do one. Okay, it's also going to need power. Get rid of that. Put a big one over here. There you go. So now all we have to do is get... How are we doing on power? We're still stowing away tons. So I think I might be okay. Uh, let's go back to this. Liquid router. Router, router. And then this just goes down. It looks like it's working. It looks like we can definitely fit some more stuff in here, though. At least two more of them. Okay, put that there. Oops. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Well. I will figure it out. Let's, uh, let's actually connect this first, though. There's no point in going through all of this extra work if I'm not actually going to deliver it. There we go. Look at that go. Okay, so water bridge conduit. Uh, let's see. Cancel that one. There we go. Just in case we need more. Yeah, because this one ain't connecting. Uh, in that case, cancel this whole biz. I forgot. Bridge connectors do kind of a weird thing. There we go. So I'm going to need that there. Put you here. There we go. Now we've got some amount of coal running into this one. But no liquid. Because... These bridges can't be connected. That bridge has to be connected. Then we got a liquid router in between, and now we're good. Perfect. So the biggest bottleneck here is just a sheer lack of coal. But that's a lot of graphite. Speaking of, this needs graphite. Oh, whoops. Right. 
That ain't gonna work. Honestly, I'm just gonna do that. Is it neat or clean? No. Doesn't need to be. Uh, where the hell is my... Oh. I never actually powered this whole area. You know what? The grid is dead. Long live the grid. There we go. So now we get some polys. Eventually. We'll see what they do. I mean, that should probably just give us copper and lead, which is less than useful for what I'm doing, but that's fine. Let's take a look at this. Next up, I would say... Check research. Do I have enough to... Grab these two? Hopefully. They did pull some from my, my own stores here. But I can actually make this stuff. Differential generator. Generates large amounts of energy. Utilizes the temperature difference between cryofluid and burning pyrotite. Here. Excuse me. I'm going to go back to... Not the craters. The windswept islands. We're going to get all my research done out here. Not that we have too much. Silicon crucible from sand and coal using pyrotite as an, an additional heat source. All right. That's an extra thing or two. Oh, I think that's all of it. So where the hell was I? It's not stained mountains. Or no, it was the stained mountains. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, this is pretty cheap. So let's replace these with the biggest, baddest walls I can find. Oh, if I put a junction there, it wouldn't have... Eh, it's fine. What I did is equally viable, <laughs> if slightly less pretty. So let's take a look. Cyclone. Explosive clumps of flak in nearby enemies. So it fires metaglass, blast compound, or plastanium. Ripple fires... Can fire graphite if we want to go this direction. And is a really long distance sucker. We've also got the swarmer. Only fires blast compound and pyrotite. Let's see how my guns currently fare. Honestly, the wild thing is my guns are pretty fine. So let's... Let's up these walls first. And then probably look into... I, I think we want to go for... I think we want to look into the ripple. Ripple. So what is, what is the Ripple's best? I'm feeling Blast Compound, maybe. 50 area damage. 5.6 tiles. And a really good ammo multiplier. So I'm going to have to relearn how to make blast compounds. Blast mixer. Blast mixer is pyrotite and spore pod. Okay. Pyrotite is coal, lead, and sand. Well, we've got some lead. Oh, we've got a lot more lead up here. Do we have any coal nearby? We got some.
Okay, coal, lead, sand. Especially because the sand's over here. Okay, next order of business, how are we doing on power? We're doing really well on power. How much do the laser drills require again? 66 per. Let's see, do we have any water up here? Not overwhelmingly. I don't know if long distance water like this is actually super viable, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I, I do have some water south of me, but it's, this is about as effective. Oh. That's what polys are good for. Okay. There we go. Are these are these rolling? It looks like they're rolling. Hopefully that's enough water. Looks like we're good. Okay, let's get a liquid router here. Okay, they're solid. Next up, power. So I've got an amount of lead just kind of hanging out in this area. So let's awkwardly jam my pyrotite mixers here. Oh, right. I forgot. Pyrotite, pyrotite has an issue. Let's go planetary map. I wish I could almost like favorite this or something. Craters, no, windswept islands. Here's the thing. Is this... This is my pyrotype mixer set up. Let's see. Let's just... I will refine this later. But for now, that should be okay. Let's see. Flip, flip schematic. There we go. Well, the polys are kind of incredible to watch. Okay. So... Big issue is... I guess technically any resource can go anywhere. On this line. I just have to sort it in properly. Do 
is it the best? No. Will it work? Sure. Alright. So there's our coal line. Here's our lead. Problem is our lead is like super trapped. And not really capable of outputting too much here. Oh, we do have some scrap metal up there. Oh. If it works, it works. Take a look. Water. Bridge over there. Interesting pyrotype mixer. It's probably terrible by, like, peak uh, mind industry plays, but look, I'm not here for peak plays. I'm here for what gets the job done, and I will slowly refine it past that point. All right. All right, we've got that up there. Tiny bit too much backseating in this chat. It's bad. I honestly, it's kind of tempting sometimes to not just to just not stream this game, uh, <laughs> and just play it on my own. Because it's like, I appreciate people's desire to want to want to help, but it is, uh, constant. And so, my real solution here is to just not read chat. Uh. Which I guess works. Bam, that's ridiculous. I go look over occasionally, but... Are you... Oh, it's not connected. We didn't hook those up. There we go. Now they're connected. Well, I got an achievement for something. Okay. Let me make sure this goes where it needs to. So you go here. Okay. And then the last thing is sand. Which super awkwardly... I guess that was the sand line. Whatever. Grab these. Okay. Put that there. Perfect. So now I just have to figure out how the heck I'm going to power this thing. I have zero sight. Haha. I'm gonna go get some titanium. Let's get some titanium. Where's home? Here's titanium. We we've got enough. Just sitting around. If I've only got some titanium left, that does kind of put a dampener on 
uber fast belts. Well, oh, I forgot how slow they were. <laughs> oh, no. It feels so shitty. All right, how you doing? What is the max number of polys I can even get? Well, here's the thing. I'm just going to get more of these. But... Just the li little guys. Okay. That should very slowly give me enough to get some monos, which should slowly give me enough to get enough resources that they can mine it themselves. Okay, beyond that... Guardian approaching in 10 waves. Well, let's... Hope we get enough juice for... Before then. Okay. Next one, laser drill. I'm just going to do that. Turns out we didn't need as nearly as much water conservation on this map as I thought we did. I thought we'd be in more trouble. Oh, this is just silly. Apparently there's like one inch of deep water over here. There we go. I could get some water up in here to get these faster. Uh, it's like, I guess I should. Let's see. Pump speed is nine. Oh, but I, I can't build those in deep water. Uh... This is suspect. Do bridge conduit into a liquid router into a bridge conduit. Boy, I guess I'm only going to be able to water power a couple of these. That's okay. It's more water power than I had before. This one I don't think I'm going to be able to water. I guess actually if I get if I get rid of that one. Cuz I think that's I think that's better. Yeah, than just having one of these down. There. Now we got titanium for days. What are they mining? Lead, looks like? Okay. So back up we go. Now that I'm now that I'm no longer stuck. How are they doing? Looks like they're getting wrecked, but we need to come back here and finish the job. Okay. Looks like it's good. So now we've got Pyrotite going, kind of. Okay. Uh, let's see. So 
Next up with the Pyrotite, if I want to make blasts, it's just spore pods. We've already got spore, pro spore pod production. So I guess it's time for mad spaghetti. 